working in the spirit of the Golden Empire. This is 17 News at 5.30. Welcome back. New at 5.30, according to the most recent statistics from the State Health Department, 512 people in Kern County overdosed on opioids in 2013. 45 of them died of those overdoses. And the number of these overdoses locally has increased 63% from 2008 to 2013. Experts say the abuse of pain pills is largely behind the trend and in some cases leading to heroin use. Started out with uh, Norco, went to heroin. Trevor Standridge first started taking pills when he was 16. Five years later, he tried heroin. It was pretty much like I felt that feeling. I was like, oh my God, like where have you been for my whole life? And then ever since then, it was every day after that. Addiction controlled his life. Just getting the drugs is a full-time job. Staying well was a full-time job. He'd run into the porta potty every break. Having to stay well, when I'm sick, I still have to work and work hard and not let nobody know. Studies show three out of four heroin users first abuse prescription opioids. Of all of our addiction patients, I would say 50% or more are addicted to opioids. The biggest increase of opioid addicts are in demographics that previously had lower rates. Women, the privately insured, and people with higher incomes. The classic addicts right now are really soccer moms. They're professionals in stressful jobs because stressful jobs actually expose them to a vulnerability for addiction. Uh, and that includes police officers. Um, a lot of teachers are amongst our patients, lawyers. They come from all walks of life. I had a back injury. And um, so they originally started putting me on pain pills. Sherry Johnson became dependent on opioids after taking painkillers for eight months. The first day I tried to stop the opiates, I got very sick. Johnson says she never went on to use stronger drugs, but had to seek treatment to wean off painkillers. She's been going through a rehab program since February at Synergy Lifestyle Center. We had a tsunami coming you know, onto this country of addiction. And when you look at the data for the last 15 years, you see how this was happening. Dr. Jan Trobisch says overprescribing is a big part of the increase. We take pills for everything. You know, um, there's a saying, a pill for every ill, right? And taking a pill is oftentimes easier than going to the gym or getting physical therapy for your chronic back problem. Overprescribing opioids can cause people to become physically dependent on the drug. Once it's used up, they still need it. The key is once patients become addicted to an opioid painkiller, they will start suffering of pretty horrible withdrawals. And, um, and that gives them the need to continuously take more and more. Dependency on pills leads to heroin, which gives users a similar feeling, but is stronger and less expensive. What we see in our patients who take heroin use anywhere between half and a full gram per day. And when it comes to painkillers, uh, especially hydrocodone, which is Norco or Vicodin, they will use on average 10 to 30 pills per day. I was working and I'm making money, but then it just got to the point to where I was spending every dime on it and not even being able to keep up with my bills, racking up credit cards, taking out loans. Now 26 years old, Standridge has been going to rehab for more than a year. He's relapsed countless times. I've tried to quit probably 200 times. When we spoke, he had been clean for four weeks, the longest stint of sobriety he's had since before he started taking pills. I want it this time. I want it. I know, I know it's my life on the line. If you or someone you know is suffering from addiction, call the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration helpline. That phone number is 800-662-HELP. There are also local facilities that can help, and I'll be on our KGET Facebook page to continue the conversation of opioid abuse in Kern County.